The world of mobile game development is an absolutely wild one. I could totally see a spinoff of Mad Men coming around where the stars are mobile game devs doing blow out of strippers assholes and coming up with evil monetization schemes to fuck their players even harder than they already do. Obviously not talking about all mobile game devs, but a good chunk of them are just the greediest, scummiest assholes on the planet that would personally go to your house to flip your mattress over just to steal a $5 bill from it. I swear to god, the drug dealers that lace their crack cocaine with fentanyl are nicer to their addicted clientele than the mobile game devs are to their addicted players. At least the fentanyl drug dealers just killing you. These mobile game devs are bleeding you out and bleeding your parents out and they would walk over to your corpse to take a dollar bill out of your wallet when you're dead. Now I want to stress this is not all mobile games and mobile game devs but there's no denying that there is a big chunk of these people that prey on susceptible people to get addicted to a game that don't know what any better, that don't know how to handle finances, and they exploit them to no end. And it's, it's terrible to see. I myself am not a huge mobile gamer. I'm not like the kind of guy that would spend $150,000 on Transformers mobile game microtransactions or 60000 on RuneScape or anything. But I do uh, appreciate certain mobile games. Obviously, the one that I got into the most was old school RuneScape on mobile. But as I look at more and more mobile game ads and games, I notice that their ads are incredibly misleading to a point that makes me want to vomit. Here's one that I saw on Twitter that got me so excited for the game only to be remarkably disappointed. Yeah, don't leave me, please. <laughs> Now, needless to say, I was sold on the game after seeing this. My dick was rock hard, and when I downloaded the game, it went super soft and I probably lost some inches. It is nothing like this trailer leads you to believe. I thought I'd be passing a guilty and not guilty verdict on marriage counseling, you know. My wife's not pretty, so then I would thoroughly in investigate the woman, decide if she is or is not pretty, side with the man, side with the woman, I, you know. I thought it was going to be just like this advertisement. Though I didn't quite understand exactly what the game would be like, it gave me kind of a general idea, or so I thought. But when I actually got in the game, let me show you what I saw. So here's what the Emperor and Beauties game is actually like. You get a little character creator here where it's just five default presets that don't have a whole lot of work behind them. I chose the bad boy looking one here because I thought all beauties would love a bad boy like this and I'm trying to get a lot of beauties in here. The name characters are super limited. You can only fit like seven on here. So I, I went with something simple. I went with just a, a classic big wet. After a short visual novel intro, you're met with the hardest choice any man makes, which is make contributions to the country or marry more wives and live a happy life. So slam ham or work for a living. I went with obvious choice here, which was marry as many beauties as my penis would allow me to. After making it to the main hall, your only choice is to talk to the default beauty. She comes with the game, so you're never alone. And I take her on a random date. I was expecting some very steamy, full penetrative sex. And I didn't quite get that, but I wasn't overly disappointed either because of this right here. Yeah, and that's how it's fucking done. Now, one beauty's nice, but you know what's better than one beauty? A million beauties. And that's kind of what I thought I was going to be getting into with this game, but that wasn't the case. Here we have a whole bunch of new characters come in to teach me a bunch of different things about the land that I don't give a fuck about. I'm just here for the beauties, but instead I have to go out here, have to collect taxes, collect uh, all kinds of crops... Then I need to go to Retainer, I need to level up this guy because for some reason he's lost without my guidance, so I don't even know why I have him around if I'm the one fucking teaching him everything anyway. But anyway, he's on my payroll, I'm teaching him, uh, you know, how to do arithmetic. I go back to the main stage and we're already being invaded. Now, this isn't what I expected on my first day on the job, I thought I was just going to be having orgies, but we're getting attacked, and luckily I win because my sexual energy was just far higher. We are an empire built on beauties, but trained in war. We will sink our teeth deep into the meaty ass of any who oppose our way of life. After the first battle, I have to go back and collect even more resources from the town. I have to tax everyone, steal their credit card, you know, make them sub to me on twitch.tv slash moistcritical. After I accumulate enough finances, then I get these silver coins, I get some leaves, and then I get 100,000 men, which I just see as 100,000 competitors for these beauties, which I'm not overly thrilled about. 
I'm finally past the tutorial and now I have all of these beautiful golden options. I finally click on one to see what this game's all about. I want to see what kind of beauties we have available to have sex with. And I met with these four lovely women, but unfortunately they cost so much fucking power that I can't afford. I don't have 50,000 power just lying around. I'm not some type of goddamn generator. So my broke ass leaves the brothel and then all of the other options here are microtransaction based. So I'm not going to spend any money on this game. Instead, I just go back to my default beauty, the old tried and true misses over here. I wanted to see who was unwedded, but I can't visit any of the unwedded. Even if I could visit the unwed, they'd probably laugh at my lack of power. I'm not pumping out the proper watts to afford their time. But anyway, like I said, all of these options here, save for a few, are just bringing you to a place to spend money on the game, which I'm not going to do. So instead, I take my girl back out on a nice random date. She's happy. I'm happy. We're very much in love, but I'm still thinking about other beauties and what I'm going to do when I finally get that you know proper amount of power. And then she surprises me with a child. On our only our second date, we've already conceived a child, which is incredible timing. Uh, we're really speed running this. So I go check on my child. I think it's only appropriate since I'm the father. I need I need to give it a name, a very strong name. It came with the default York. I was gonna just put new in front of it, just make it New York, call it a day. But I said I wanted something bigger, so I tried Jesus, which for some reason they forbid. I said, all right, they don't want Jesus. Well, what about God? And God was acceptable, so. Now I have my baby god over here and I'm stuck in this land of microtransactions and power that I can't possibly get because I'm not spending money on the game and the way you accumulate power in this game is so fucking slow. So I'm stuck with one beauty in a world that's supposed to be full of beauties for me. So I'm beyond disappointed and the advertisement was nothing like the game.